Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at the Energy Saver System Preferences. I've gotten a few requests lately to take a closer look at the Energy Saver Preferences. So let's take a look at what each item in there does. So if you go to the System Preferences and look for the light bulb, you'll be able to get to the Energy Saver System Preferences. It's not a very good name for it. It should be even Power Management because not everything is just about saving energy. Now it's a bit of a chameleon so it will change its appearance depending on which Mac you're using. This for instance is what I get when I'm looking at it on my Mac Pro. So the Mac Pro doesn't have a battery of course, it's always plugged in so there's only one mode. Here you can set some basics like how long it takes before your computer goes to sleep if you're not using it. Also a separate display sleep thing here. So I can say adjust it so it will go to sleep after one hour of non-use but the display itself will go to sleep after 15 minutes. I set it to never because I use my Mac Pro for all sorts of things on my local network. I share my photos, share iTunes and I also access it via screen sharing throughout the house and I don't want it to ever go to sleep. But you may have different uses for your Mac so you may want to set it down to something like an hour or three hours. That way you can just walk away from your Mac and know it eventually will go to sleep and into energy saving mode. Display sleep works best of course with MacBooks and iMacs where the display is built in and the Mac has total control over it. But it should work for most displays hooked up to a Mini or a Mac Pro as well, just not all of them. Particularly if they're hooked up to a VGA cable. If they're hooked up to DVI cables then they should be capable of going into display sleep when your Mac requests it. Then you've got some other options here. You've got uh, the ability to put the hard disk to sleep when possible. So there's no slider here but if you check that off and you haven't used your hard disk for a minute or so it will put it to sleep and save some energy. But it wakes up pretty quickly so you probably don't even notice that feature is on. I always recommend you turn it on unless you are using a computer for something really intense like video editing. Then you also have the wake for Ethernet network access. Now that's what it says on my Mac Pro. It may say something different on your Mac like wake for wireless network access. This is the ability for Macs to wake up even when they are sleeping when you try to access them from the network. And if you have a modern airport base station and a modern Mac say from 2008 to 2009 or later then you may actually be able to have your machine sleep, have it appear awake on your network and when you try to access it the airport will tell the Mac to wake up. You also have other options here. Uh, allow the power button to put the computer to sleep on the Mac Pro. I can press the power button and come up with a little dialog that says if I want it to put it to sleep or shut it down. Um, I also can have it automatically start up after a pow power failure. This is useful if you are using your Mac on the network and you are in an area where you might have power failures. Uh, if there is power failure and your Mac goes off it will restart when power is restored. So you can see here how it looks a little different if I look at Energy Saver on my MacBook Pro. I've got two settings, battery and power adapter and I can switch between the two of them. Under battery I want to set the computer to go to sleep fairly quickly and the display to go to sleep very quickly. This will extend battery life so I can use the Mac longer before it runs out of juice. Uh, I also have different settings here like uh, automatically reduce the brightness before the display goes to sleep. So this will uh, dim the display slightly as a precursor to putting the display to sleep so it's not a shock to you if you're in the middle of writing something you can simply move the cursor a little bit to prevent the display going to sleep. Now if I switch my MacBook Pro to look at power adapter settings I can see that it has changed a little bit there as well. Now I have the wake for Ethernet or wireless access uh, added to the, the list there and start automatically after a power failure also added to the list. So you actually have different options depending upon which mode you choose. So it is called Energy Saver Preferences because it does actually save quite a bit of energy. Two of the biggest power drains are your hard drive which spins mechanically and your display which is of course illuminated. So if you have your display to set to go to sleep after a few minutes and your hard drive set to spin down when not in use you can save quite a bit of energy. Then when you go into sleep mode in addition to those you also save energy because your CPU goes into very low power mode. and Pretty much the only power is going to keep the memory intact so you can wake up quickly and return to where you were. Now another thing that Energy Saver does for you is you can click this schedule button here and you can schedule your Mac to start up or wake at a certain time either every day or, or on certain days. And you can also set it to go to sleep 
restart or shut down at certain times of the day. So for instance, you can automatically have your Mac go to sleep, say at midnight and wake up at 8 a.m. just before you arrive. That way maybe the Mac is awake for your use via network in the evening, but it doesn't stay awake all night. Now I know I'm gonna get questions about whether it's better to shut down your Mac or put it to sleep, so please check out episode 240 of MacMost Now where I address that issue specifically. Also, it could be useful to have your Mac wake up just a few hours before you start using it every day, so that way it can do things like automatically download podcasts, have a checking hourly for that, look at your email, if it's checking every few minutes for that, and it's just ready to go when you sit down. So don't ignore your energy saver preferences. Go ahead and set your display to sleep at a very low time period. Remember, it's just a touch of the spacebar or movement of the mouse to wake it up again, and it does it instantly. Also set your hard drive to spin down, and set a decent time interval for your Mac to go to sleep if you want it to. So I hope you found this brief look at the energy saver preferences useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.